Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of ectopic pregnancy. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for one and a half months. She had complained for severe lower abdominal pain more on the right for one day. She had also complained for painful micturition and defecation for same duration. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section view of the pelvic region showing a complex mass adjacent to the uterus. This is structure is the uterus and you can see this heterogeneous complex area with two internal cystic components. And this is the uterus in transverse section and this is the uterus in longitudinal section. And here you can see the complex area. You can also see some collection with internal fibrinous septations indicating hemorrhagic content. And you can see this complex area here with two cystic components. One cystic area shows a hyperechogenic thick ring and uh, another one doesn't. So our primary diagnosis from this picture is adnexal ectopic pregnancy which has already got ruptured. Usually if you get two cystic areas in a patient of reproductive age complaining related to ectopic pregnancy, then definitely the first one should be the corpus luteal cyst and the second one should be the ectopic. Here the hyperechogenic rim one should be the ectopic. But how can we confirm this? We have magnified the image and you can see the thick rimmed cystic structure and another irregular cystic area adjacent to it. Surrounding hypoechoic areas are the collection adjacent to this lesion indicating surrounding blood collection. Now here is the color Doppler picture and you can see significant amount of flow within this lesion. And you can see the vessels are more focusing towards this lesion, indicating it as a suspected ectopic pregnancy. Now, corpus luteal cyst will also get a good amount of blood flow because this is a functional cyst. If you compare with ectopic, it may look quite similar because I can say that this flow is going towards the corpus luteal cyst. How can we differentiate that this lesion is definitely an ectopic pregnancy? To confirm that, you can use the pulse wave Doppler. Let's see what we have got on pulse wave Doppler. We have taken sample from the adjacent prominent vessels and you can see the flow shows low resistant sawtooth like wave pattern where the resistive index was measured around 0.34. In our practice we see if it is an unruptured ectopic pregnancy the resistive index of the supplying vessel should be less than 0.4. In case of ruptured one you may get a slightly increased resistive index usually less than 0.5. So, these features conclude it as an ectopic pregnancy, however it is already ruptured, as we have already seen some heterogeneous collection adjacent to it. Now, let's see some pictures of this case. Here is the uterus in longitudinal section and you can see it apparently looks normal and adjacent to it you can see some heterogeneous hypoechoic areas. These are all collection. This collection is hemorrhagic. Here you can see the partially filled urinary bladder. Here is the complex mass with internal cystic area which we have already told as ectopic pregnancy. Here is another glimpse of the ectopic pregnancy on the left and the corpus luteal cyst on the right. Here is another picture of the part of the uterus and the heterogeneous collection and it is the prominent vessel on the right which was supplying the ectopic pregnancy. Here is the ectopic one with hyperechogenic thick margin. You may call it donor sign but usually donor sign looks quite better than this one. Anyway, here is the prominent vessel which was supplying the ectopic pregnancy. And here is the corpus luteal cyst which is getting blood flow but not as much as ectopic one. So, in summary, an irregular heterogeneous complex area with two internal irregular anechoic cystic areas is noted at the right adnexal region. Color Doppler shows significant internal vascularity. One cystic area with surrounding prominent echogenic rim shows adjacent low resistant flow of ovarian arterial origin, resistive index of which was 0.34. Now we have seen some pelvic collection indicating hemorrhagic content. Uterus apparently looks normal. 
Now the take home message. An adnexal mass with low resistant flow with pelvic collection in a patient complaining of acute pain during micturition and defecation is a ruptured ectopic pregnancy until proven otherwise. Color Doppler is a very useful tool in these cases if you are having confusion with other differential diagnoses. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.